Welcome back guys and welcome to another video on Ambotoon channel. Um, so we are on series four and I was going to install the injectors, but I kind of thought it would be too much work to install injectors on stock rails just to put the everything back together. Um, I did place an order for rails. I'm not sure if they're coming in tomorrow or the next day, but it'd be kind of pointless to rehab to take them out. Um, I might as well, if I'm gonna sit here and mess with these brackets to get rid of the TGVs, I might as well get TGV deletes also. So I'm gonna wait and then we can do a whole nother series of um, installing all that all together because we'll probably, hmm, I don't know if I wanna remove the intake manifold. You don't have to but it would be kind of easier. But um, I think I'm gonna keep the intake manifold on and just do every, the TGV deletes and the injectors and the fuel harness all together. So um, right now we are going to go ahead and install the Cobb Flex Fuel Kit. That way it's already installed and good to go. So this is what series four will be on. And I think it's series four, right? First was Cobb, second was downpipe and exhaust, third was Visconti's uh, plug and play wideband for the STI EJ engine. And yeah, number four. So we're gonna do the flex fuel kit right now. Uh, pretty simple install. Most of this stuff is already online, how to install it and things like that. You gotta take the battery out to gain access over here, down here, and then uh, replace some of these lines, and voila, you're pretty much done. So I'm gonna start doing this, and then I will show you guys how I have it hooked up. So pretty much, uh, when installing the flex fuel kit, you gotta take out the battery. Um, this first bolt right here comes out, and then you can loosen or either remove both of these. Um, I just loosened them and then I was able to, uh, you want to install this flex sensor with, uh, the nipples pretty much on top and then the sensor thing at the bottom and then just as it is right here. When you install this kit, you got to put the longer hose, uh, on the one that's on the driver's side and then the shorter hose on the one that's closest to the passenger side. Um, you do have to run, you do have to install this right here with that bolt that comes with the kit and run it to the TGV that's down there and then one to the rear O2. So you pretty much run it down here and zip tie it off that way it doesn't get anywhere. And then one to the flex fuel. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this video short and actually pack up for the night because I can't do anything at the moment due to the fuel rails. Uh, I forgot the little quick connects and I don't have them with me. So I have to wait till tomorrow morning to actually go to Advanced Auto and get them and then finish up this flex fuel kit. So see you guys in the morning. We are back on the flex fuel grind. Uh, finishing up this install. I didn't uh, finish the install last night because I totally forgot. I really hope that fan's not blurring out the my voice or anything like that. I hope not, but let's just pray. I forgot to grab some of these in order to get these off. Um, but first, before we do that, let me get a light set up in here, and then that way I can show you guys um, what all we're doing. I hope the fans not, you know, where you guys can't hear. I'm praying because I just definitely did all these videos with it, but um, I already removed the battery. I already, you know, did the lines, this line, and then that line right there. We got to relieve the pressure from this. All this is still kind of hot, so I'm just, you know, being safe. There's this little thing right here, this little fuse that's a 15. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull this out. This controls the power to the fuel pump. There we go. And just set it up there. 
and then we're going to start the car and it's going to die sooner or later it'll die because there's no more pressure and there it goes it's starting to die almost there die bitch die <laughs> die oh, oh man it's still staying alive for some reason I'm surprised it's gonna run out of fuel soon and then it should just die it should this one's holding on for dear life Oh, 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 I hear it, I hear it. And, oh, oh, I think the pressure's getting, it's eating up all the fuel and there's no more fuel left. And there we go, it's dead. Obviously you wanna make sure to uh, undo this negative, that way there's no uh, craziness going on. And that is done. All right, so I just had to get a few things set up. So what's gonna happen is, I'm pretty much gonna use this to kind of cover this up as I put this uh, 5 sixteenths right in between that and you kind of push in and then push out. All right, so let me do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so now that this line is removed to the return line, this long line is going to connect right there to the FPR and then this short line is going to replace this uh, return line right here. You have the, uh, the fuel hose connected right there and then also this one right here. This one pretty much you can just toss or keep just in case you want to go back to stop. The case back in, you put the fuse back in and put this negative and then you just gotta tighten it down. And once that is tightened, you pretty much let your tuner know that you have it all installed. You can still technically drive with it like this. There's no, there's no problem with installing it and driving it. You may throw a TGV code, uh, but you need to have your tuner adjust it to actually activate the flex fuel sensor. And I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to not fully start the car, but I want to prime it a few times and then check for leaks up in the front. Does it look like none? Doesn't look like none. So, so far, so good. We're going to do that maybe like three times. Because every time you turn this onto the on position, it primes the fuel pump. So then, you should be able to start the car. There we go. And just checking the lines for any fuel leaks. Everything's fine. And looks good to go, guys. So this was kind of going into um the mount this mount so if anybody has this mount uh or whoever designed the mount um might want to take this into consideration right if a tuner is tuning the car a lot of tuners don't have a long enough usb cable and what i had to do was get a right angle data usb and able to fit i mean it fits perfectly fine and it actually it's like six feet so it gives me enough space but all the tuners would have to get one in order to actually fit that access port who accepts flex fuel um and for the wide the inline visconti wide band uh currently i am flashing it so once this is all done up here change the data log that way my tuner can see it aka me and we are going to do ethanol final and then even over let's see which one should i get rid of probably we'll get rid of boost because we really don't need boost we'll do ethanol final and there we go it's reading correctly so we'll start this up let 
let it learn a little bit. Wait for the AFR to kind of come down. So that sends only Rear 02 is the Visconti wideband. Uh, so we'll see how this levels out. And there we go. For some reason at idle, it says 16, but um, it's probably at like 14 or something like that. Uh, gonna try to see why it's just doing that. It seems pretty uh, spot on though, so. Not spot on as that, look, it's going up. So it should be around 14.7. I probably do have to play around with the, um, this doesn't have a stock intake. This does have a uh, parent. So I do have to adjust a little bit. It seems like it's moving up slowly, so it should be going up. But yeah, guys. So that was the install for the flex fuel for series number four. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe, share the video. And I am out, guys.